Manager for Gratitude is a nonprofit organization. It was formed in 2009. And what we focus on with the Attitude of Gratitude is the essential items that students and kids um, need at the first day of school, starting school. Um, Title I schools, they are mainly uh, identified as a Title I school for many different reasons. Um, the area they may live in, um, they don't have a strong networking, um, they don't have a strong PTA. Uh, Title I schools also, most of the kids eat government lunches. So they, you know, they struggle through a lot of different things um, with the school system. So an attitude of gratitude took it upon ourselves to be the PTA for that chosen adopted Title I elementary school. And we we absolutely love what we've done. We've learned a lot um, by adopting um, the schools that we have adopted. And this year, which is 2021, will be our 10th adopted elementary school. So it gives us, you know, it makes you feel good when you know that you are making a difference. It makes you feel good when you know that you are helping it, these teachers that help your child become a better person. It feels good to do that. Yes, attitude of gratitude, that's my heart, you know, because it is what it says the title is, an attitude of gratitude. In order to give, you must have a good attitude towards whatever you're giving. It's good to have a good attitude, but be gracious and be thankful for what people have done as well. Now, attitude of gratitude, because what we do for the Title I elementary schools, it, you know, there are so many. There's elementary Title I schools, there's middle schools and high schools. But what we do, we connect with the Board of Education um, to select that one elementary school that really, really do need it. That funding is not kind of low. They don't get a lot of funding towards these school supplies. And a lot of people talk about that. You know, um, you know, every school get funding. Yes, they do. But that fund is allocated in many different areas and it's not allocated to school supplies. You know, we think it's important that the teacher feels good having a great summer, comes in from that summer vacation, ready to go in that classroom, and there, there's a student that don't have anything. Because a parent will say, go to school. You know, they have what you need. And sometimes the classrooms and the teachers do not have all what they need to teach effectively on that very first day. And you could just imagine um, a child sitting there and everybody pulling out from their desk, their pencil, their pens, their tablet, their calculator, their scissors, their glue sticks, and you don't have anything so the teacher only can give you on that day one pencil and a few pieces of paper. So it's good to make sure the children have what they need so they feel confident to know they feel confident to learn.